One of the questions that we get asked all the time is what's the difference? What do I need to do differently with my driver versus my irons? And I'm glad you asked because it's super common and the reality is nothing. You don't do anything different whatsoever. Now, of course, with the driver, I've talked about in the Bomb Your Driver series that it is a specialty club. Because of the way the head's designed, you do need to hit the ball higher on the face, which of course requires a T. We can't do that with an iron. You hit an iron high on the face, it's not gonna go anywhere. There's no mass back here high on the face. So obviously that's a, an obvious difference, but it doesn't change the way you swing the club. It changes the way you set up to the ball, which of course involves a T. Now, the other thing that you'll only other change that you'll ever make with make a driver swing is moving the ball up in your stance and as I've talked about in the bottom of your driver series slightly inside the target line and changing your alignment slightly. I've talked about that in this video so if you take a look at those you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about there. But outside of that what do you need to do different? Nothing. The whole key of learning how to swing this club and this club is learning how to swing them at what feels like to you the exact same speed. One of the things that people don't realize is the advantage that just having a longer shaft provides for you. How much? It's about two miles an hour of club head speed that you're gonna pick up for every half inch of shaft length. That's why all of your clubs typically are a half inch longer than the other one. And that's why using a single length irons, which I've experimented a lot with, is very difficult to make work correctly because as you get it to the longer clubs, you start losing so much club head speed that you can't make up for it by increasing the loft or decreasing the loft as it were. So because of that, it's very hard to get your three, four, five irons up in the air high enough to get any proper trajectory, proper spin, etc. So that's why I, you know, I've settled in on just you know, standard half inch separations that's been like this for forever. And that's the reason for it is because you pick up so much speed by just increasing the shaft length. So from an eight iron that I have here to a driver, you can see there's a huge difference of almost a foot in my shaft length between the two clubs. Let's just say for argument's sake, it is a foot difference. Well, that means that this club, without me doing anything different, just by increasing the radius of the swing arc, how far the club head is away from me, the rotating center, this thing's gonna move 24 miles an hour faster than this. Now, for many of you, you're listening to that and say, well, listen, I swing my eight iron at 85 miles an hour and my driver at 90 miles an hour. What's the disconnect? Great question, because that's what really matters, because the math and science of this is 100% legit. Doesn't make, you, know, you can't defeat the logic there, but for so many golfers in real world practice and applique, it doesn't work out like that. Their driver swings almost just as the same speed as their irons. Why is that? It's because you're trying to swing this too hard from the top of your swing. If you go to the top and you're all loaded up and you fire this because you know you need to swing it faster in your head, but the reality is I want you to try and swing it like that. Try to swing it like your lob wedge. I bet you don't ever blast your lob wedge off the planet. Because obviously the loft issue and the shaft length helps, but at the same point, it's because you're making a smoother swing. A lot of times you find that you, if you just try to hit one nice and smooth and easy, you end up hitting it too far. We've all done that a million times with irons and drivers. The key is that you learn to sequence the swing correctly. You let the swing unwind and unfold without you trying to force it from the top. So the reality is iron swing, driver swing, I want you to try and feel the exact same body speed. Now, that doesn't mean with the driver, you, when everything's clicking, you can't ramp it up and make it, you know, pick up another five, six, seven miles an hour by swinging harder. Of course you can, but everything needs to be jamming. Everything needs to be synced up really well. But when you're just playing a normal round of golf and maybe everything's not clicking exactly the way that you want, swing your eight iron like you do your driver or swing your driver like you do your eight iron. And all of a sudden you'll be shocked. The club's gonna go the same speed. You're gonna have more lag, you're gonna have less tension, you're gonna hit it more consistently because you're not out of control. And that's the whole trick between understanding the driver and the irons. Hey there, Chuck Quinton, founder of Rotary Swing University here. I hope you enjoyed the preview of the premium video. I wanna show you what you're gonna get once you join Rotary Swing because the, our new course for Rotary Swing University is a game changer. 
It literally walks you through every single aspect of building a perfect golf swing, a powerful and safe golf swing, and all you have to do is literally click next. You don't have to think. All you got to do is follow the drills, watch the videos, click next. Everything is in sequence and walks you through everything you need to know about building the perfect golf swing step by step. And it's not only this amazing course that makes the thinking process, takes it all out of the golf swing, but we also offer six free swing reviews from a certified rotary swing tour instructor for every phase of the swing. So with the RST five step system, we start with weight shift. Once you master weight shift, we move on to body rotation, we call core rotation. But through each section, we're going to test you. You're going to upload a video of you doing the drills, you doing it in your golf swing. And one of our certified instructors will review your swing and make sure that you're doing the movements correctly so you never have to wonder, did I do this right? Am I getting better? You're going to know for sure. And all you have to do is join today with rotaryswing.com and start improving your golf swing right now. And we're going to give you six free swing reviews and more importantly, a lifetime money back guarantee. That's right. Nobody else in the golf instruction world would dare do this. We're so confident and we've proved our method with over 300,000 golfers around the world that we can guarantee your golf swing is going to improve by following our course. And all you've got to do is do the drills and submit your video for review. And our instructors are going to help you each step of the way. And if for whatever reason, if you ever decide that you're not happy and your golf swing didn't really improve, we'll give you every single penny you spent back on your Rotary Swing University tuition for free. So think about it. You've got literally nothing to lose. Go to rotaryswing.com, sign up today, and improve your golf swing once and for all.